Hello again and today a short note for all those holding cryptocurrencies here in the Philippines, especially on the platform Binance. It's worth considering transferring your cryptocurrencies to another platform. This is because the Philippine Securities and Exchange Commission released a notice last year end of November stating that Binance is currently not licensed in the Philippines. Binance is not a Philippine registered company and therefore not allowed to conduct financial transactions here. Now on November 28, the SEC informed Binance about this and asked them to obtain a license in the Philippines within the coming months. This includes a three months waiting period after which actions will be taken. That means starting February 28. In the worst case scenario, this could mean that from end of February 2024, Binance might no longer be allowed to operate in the Philippines. So what this means is that they might block the website. Then you still can use a VPN to access your accounts, but they might also block the app from being downloaded or upgraded here. That is why I myself have transferred my crypto coins that I had to Binance to my hardware wallet, the Ledger Nano S, I show you here. And I must say this warning concerns not only Binance, which is quite popular, but also other platforms like Okta, FX and some smaller exchanges that offer their services in the Philippines, but are not licensed. In case you are now looking for legal alternatives to trade and hold your crypto here in the Philippines, I can recommend these three coins.ph, Gcash, which now includes Gcrypto and Paymaya. All these three wallets also accept cryptocurrencies, so it's quite easy to convert crypto coins into cash here. However, for those who have their crypto on Binance and manage is there, you should consider whether this platform will register in the Philippines in the coming weeks. It's unlikely given that their CEO is facing plenty of issues with all the legal term oil going on. Therefore, there's a real risk that Binance might not be available in the Philippines in the near future. It would be wise to start looking for alternatives. Until then, take care and goodbye.